made it. We're checked in, parked. One room, two rooms. A few errands to do in town. To uh, get gas, get some ice, do a few little things like that. Get some dinner at our uh, long walk Boston Pizza. The adventure begins tomorrow. What do you think? Oh yeah, sounds like a plan. <laughs> I'm excited. The first stop is the uh, Fort Nelson Heritage Museum. Pretty cool place to stop. Stop here every year. This is the, uh, the famous Chadwick Ram, the biggest stone sheep that's ever been harvested ever. It's supposed to be what the, the finest big game trophy in North America. Finest big game trophy of any type of animal in North America. Pretty cool place, an ice cream shop, uh, old cars, and then uh, in the museum there's some pretty neat things, but uh, we'll go take a look. Uh, more view of the main drag of Fort Nelson. So uh, the Alaskan Highway goes up and down the middle of town, and you've got these, I guess, they're you know, service roads or something that are on each side of the Alaska Highway. And then uh, behind these roads, there's a, there's a couple blocks this side of the highway, which is the, I guess, the, the south or the west side mostly industrial and businesses and on that side of town is where most people live. So at the north end of town there's the Fort Nelson Museum that I showed you earlier and there's some parks and there's a uh, community center and then uh, the south end of town is mainly where there's some hotels and some gas stations and uh, office buildings and places like that. One cool thing I've never seen anywhere else is on Fort Nelson, they have pictures of the graduating class on these, uh, I don't know what the right word is, but street, or street light uh, banisters all up and down the road. It's really neat. So, uh, congratulations, Fort Nelson class of 2022. We just had dinner at Boston Pizza. Back in the room to do a final check of all of our gear. We uh, wax the boots to make sure they're nice and waterproof before we go uh, stomping around some wet forests and through some streams. Charging up uh, iPads. We can watch some movies. Going through my uh, gear list. Three pages of things to look at here. Backpack, clothes for driving home, hiking clothes, that's the wax I put on the boots, boots for wearing in the boat, bug spray, some magazines, and super important, sat phone. Call home every night, talk to our kids and loved ones. And if there's an emergency, we can always call search and rescue. Meanwhile, back in Duncan, my friend Celine came up to visit. I can hear my mom in my my brain right now. Not too close to the edge. What are we doing? Hiking. <laughs> Hiking where? Uh, Cobble. Nope. <laughs> Pigeon Hill. No. <laughs> it, this is Soul Spring, okay. That I, is Soul Spring over there. We are on Vancouver Island. Uh, yeah. This is Stony Hill. So, heel. I had the heel. You had the, yeah. I mean, it is a hike. <laughs> That's pretty self explanatory. It's a Stony Hill. And where is Celine visiting from? Uh, Victoria. Yeah. 
Where are you originally from? Oh, Paris. Oh, <laughs> oh Paris. <laughs> but I have my California hat, so you know. Yeah. I'm a citizen of the world. You are a citizen of the world. Yeah. yeah. She identifies as French, though. <laughs> yeah, especially when there is parcel. Wait, um, yeah. Parcel. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like at the market this morning. <laughs> well, shall we continue on our hike? Yes. And then lunch? Yes. At my favorite place? Yes. Into you Norway. lovely YouTube people have already seen it. Genoa Bay Cafe. Very exciting. Best calamari in the world. We're having this? Yes, we are. <laughs> Onwards. <laughs> This tree, do you know what it's called? Arbutus. Arbutus, yes. Yeah. They are unique to the like Pacific coast, like Vancouver Island, only a small part of Vancouver Island. And some in California, some in Washington and Oregon, I think. And they have this peely bark, but they're like very unique to here. And it's like every kid's favorite activity finding an Arbutus tree and peeling all the bark off. Because it's very satisfying. Do you know why do you peel? No, do you? Oh, we'll Google it and then we'll put it in the video. I don't know why. Cheers! <laughs> We have the best calamari. Confirmed? Confirmed. Confirmed. Definitely confirmed. Confirmed. You have a poke bowl. Nice. With tuna. It's delicious. Falafel for me. And with oh, where are you? French fries. And, and a wash. On the floor. And a bit a bit. We lost a bit here. Here's my dirty toes from our hike. We're trying to get to the boat launch here. We're on the Alaska Highway. Uh, about half an hour out of Fort Nelson and uh, doing some road work. So, we have about a, we said about a 10 or 15 minute break, so we'll stretch our legs and breathe in the north air. made it. We're at the boat launch of the Musqua River. A few boats here. Five or six. Not too bad. So let the adventures begin. We have to drive onto this little island to launch the boat. We used to be able to launch both there and uh, over there and over there, but the last couple of years as the rivers changed course, can't do it anymore. So we Across the little shallow channel and launch the boat right here and head up river. I'm loading the truck into the boat. Not a bad day, not too hot, not raining. Should be a good run up the river. If anyone's wondering what these are, they're uh, bug screens for windows. Of, of course, knowing me, I had to do some work on the drive up, so. We accidentally made some window screens the wrong size, so I picked up the wrong size and we dropped off the right size. So, two for on this trip. Okay, so we're all packed up. I think so. Doing our final checks. Well, Jared thinks I'm talking to him, but I'm talking to you folks on YouTube that are watching this. Putting the plugs in, two plugs, one on each side. Boat's pretty loaded up. Got our pizza lunch. Some drinks in the cooler. GPS. Muffin from the hotel. Sirius radio is super important. Lists and lists and lists of more and more stuff. And but check this out. So we're ready for the drive home because you know we get out, we want to get home pretty fast. So check this, we got 
blanket ready to go, pillow for sleeping in the back seat, water, spare change of clothes. We got our uh, liquid energy there. First aid kits, chocolates, phone chargers. We're ready to get home when we're done here. How you feeling, Jared? Feeling fantastic. Yeah, looking forward to getting going. Couldn't see you there with all your camo on. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it's for, right? Super. All right, let's do this. It's been raining really hard up here the last, uh, not every day, but generally speaking, and the river's quite high. It's not normally this high, it's fast moving, so. Extra water to keep the rocks wet. Uh, how long, Derek? 45 minutes? Half hour. Hour on the nose. We're an hour up the river. This is the last place where there's cell service, so we're just gonna call home and check in at work and make sure everything's good, and then we're gonna keep going on our way. So far, so good. Here we are at the, um, the Tachodi River, which is here, comes into the Musqua. And as you see, the uh, Tachodi River water is nice and clean, and then the Musqua is that muddy stuff out there, and this is where they're mixing. But there's Jared getting hydrated with some Powerade, and we're about two, a little over two hours in. The water's pretty high, so there's a lot of uh, water we're having to push against and fight to get up the river. It's going pretty fast, but uh, it'll drop fast and haven't hit anything yet. It's been a good trip, good time. We made it to the mouth of the creek we're jet boating up, which is just around the corner there. So we're gonna put some fuel on the bank so we can have enough to get home. Fill up the gas tank. A little bit more fuel up with us and away we go. So tell me what you're doing. I am filling up the main gas tank in the boat from these smaller jugs that we have. This handy little uh, battery powered transfer pump works really well. What is the, what's that black thing you're pouring the fuel into? The black thing is a fuel filter. It's got a really fine screen at the bottom and it's able to filter out water so you make sure that the gas you're putting in the boat tank doesn't have any sand or silt or water in it. Yeah, that's a good setup. There's only a few mosquitoes around. <laughs> only a few. Look at those mosquitoes, they're everywhere! <laughs> Here we are. About filling up. What's that? Oh. YouTube! And thunder and lightning rolls in. Lovely. So, we're almost there, about another half an hour, 45 minutes at most. And uh, rolls through and doesn't get us too wet. 